This storm is expected to bring snow to just about every corner of the state and of course a lot of snow in some of the places inland. News Center's Don Kerrigan joins us from Augusta where with the latest on the snow and some good things that may come from it. Hey there, Don. Hey, Cindy, we're right beside the famous or infamous Augusta Rotary, the one just down the street from the State House. Traffic is moving. As you can see, we got about two inches of snow. The plows have been working hard, but it is slippery out on these roads. Uh, so this snow is going to be a challenge for drivers tonight and overnight. That said, the snow is also white gold for Mainers who love to play outdoors in the winter, especially for snowmobilers. However, today that was, that was brought with a warning from the Maine Snowmobile Association and the Maine Warden Service about ice conditions, telling snowmobilers to ride smart and stay safe. We're very fortunate, I think, to have a, a snowstorm coming tonight. The head of the Maine Snowmobile Association called this the happiest day of the year, the first big snowstorm with a forecast for more than a foot in some places. That means it will be time to ride, but once again, there's a warning. It's feeling like it's maybe more midwinter than it actually is, so we don't want people to have that misconception that the ice is safe, which in many cases it's still not. The warden service says ice conditions can be very different from place to place right now, and that the new snow won't help. Our greatest fear, at least at the warden service, from a search and rescue uh, standpoint, is this heavy snow obscuring the ice and what the condition of the ice might be like underneath it. With cold and some snow already here and more coming, the Snowmobile Association says there's a lot of pent-up demand to go riding. 75,000 sleds have been registered so far this year, and they expect many of them will be on the trails this weekend. The association's executive director, Bob Myers, had some more safety advice. Don't drink and ride. Always keep your sled under control and travel at a reasonable speed. Um, be aware of your surroundings. Don't ride alone. And uh, just keep an eye out for everybody while you're out there. Besides taking maps, they're urging snowmobilers to carry an emergency pack with dry socks and gloves, a hat, flashlight, matches, and snacks. And wear a set of these picks in case you do go through the ice. So these things here will save your life. They're picks of life. They're also telling riders to let people know where they're going. And a lesson learned from those three riders who became stranded last weekend. If possible, stay together. We don't generally um, uh, favor any party splitting up. It's advice they hope all riders will remember as snowmobiling begins. And people certainly who snowmobile, as well as those who ski, certainly are excited about uh, getting a good, a good amount of snow out of this storm. The Warden Service again points out that the ice is their big worry because it can be so different in different places, and they worry about the snow covering up the ice, so people be careful. Besides that, speed and OUI, as we mentioned, and they reminded us that uh, snowmobilers can be charged with a crime for operating under the influence, can face a fine, and even jail time for doing it, just the same as uh, people driving a car and caught for OUI. Snowmobile clubs will be out grooming heavily as soon as the snow's over. They expect a lot of people on the trails this weekend and just are urging them all to stay safe. Cindy, back to you. All right, Don, thank you so much.